Hello everyone! Today's topic is OSPF LSA Type 7 or NSSA External Summary. Let's talk about it. The OSPF Not So Stubby Area feature is non-proprietary extension of the existing stub area feature that allows the injection of external routes in a limited fashion into the stub area. A distribution into an NSSA area creates a Type 7 LSA which can only exist in an NSSA area. NSSA SBR generates this LSA and NSSA AVR translates it into a Type 5 LSA which can get propagated into the OSPF domain. Here we have example. We have external rotor with EIGRP, we have ASBR, we have ABR and here we have NSSA area. ASBR generates Type 7 LSA and sends it to ABR. ABR on, on the base of this Type 7 LSA generates Type 5 LSA. This we can see in the next slide. Let's review in a little bit more details LSA propagation for this example. ASBR injects internal roads as Type 7 LSAs. So we, can we have Type 7 LSA in the NSSA area. It exists only in NSSA area. When first ABR, which is R5, receives Type 7 LSA, it does not advertise it outside the originating NSSA area, but it converts Type 7 LSA into Type 5 LSA. Then, when next ABR receives LSA Type 5 from Area 0, then this second ABR creates Type 4 LSA, for the type 5 LSA and also uh, sends type 5 LSA into the next area. So here in this area we can see two AB, AB, LSA, sorry, type 5 and type 4. To briefly review information about type 7 LSA, we can use command show IP OSPF database. And then under type 7 as external link, link states section, you can see our LSAs, this for network 16.1, 16.2, 16.16, .16, advertising router age, sequence number, and check sum. To check more detailed information for the type 7 LSA, you can use command show IP OSPF database, NSSA external. And here you can find, for example, a link state ID, which is prefix of the network in this LSA. Uh, advertising router, sequence number, checksum, mask, and also metric. Okay, let's review example for type 7 LSA. In our network topology we have area 1, 2, 3, 4, area 0, area 56, and here we have external router with EIGRP uh, interfaces and uh, ERGP running uh, routing protocol and interfaces configured with network um, IP interface brief uh, 172.16.11 and 2.1 and 16.16. This area is configured as NSSA area. Show run section router OSPF. Area 56 NSSA area redistribute EIGRP into OSPF and let's see what we have in OSPF. Show IP OSPF database. We should have type 7 LSA. Yes, we have type 7 LSAs for our networks redistributed from EIGRP. This is ASBR router. Let's go to next one, which is R5, and this router is ABR. Show IP OSPF database. Show IP OSPF database. Here we have type 7 LSAs, the same, and type 5 LSAs. So, as I mentioned in the slides, first ABR creates type 5 LSAs. Let's see what we have. Show IP OSPF 
database and SSA external for our um, LS, LSA type 7 we have link state ID which is our network prefix uh, router advertising which is R6 our ISBR sequence number uh, checksum mask and metric uh, but set in another network next one and last LSA is last network this is our uh, type 7 LSA and let's go for example to R1 show IP OSPF database we can see type 5 LSA here and type 4 LSA type 4 <coughs> is advertised by router R4 and created on the base of type 5 LSA on the router R4 after area 0 This is everything I wanted to show you for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel with the notification bell on and show your support by hitting like button. I hope to see you soon in my next videos. But for now, just goodbye and see you soon.